Beckham saw Sullivan off his line. Hello guys, it's Chris here. Now, there have been many famous goals over the years from players from their own half. Beckham, Rooney, Jabby Alonso, Simon's one in the charity game. It's been something that I've been thinking about attempting for a long time because goalkeepers in Sunday league games just don't expect it at all. You know, instead of passing it slowly backwards to your centre-back, him then passing it sideways, the ball taking a bobble and then being 1-0 up inside two minutes. Going forwards instead of that? is unheard of. But welcome to a new Sunday League season video. I attempted it in a game, which you'll see later in the video, but I've got a few games from last season and a few from this season to uh, bring to you today. I've actually been injured all season. I got this Achilles injury back in August, and uh, every time I've left it a month or so, it hasn't healed properly, so I literally haven't played a game in like six months. Before we go any further, because I'm in this period of injury at the moment, I thought what we could do to create these Sunday League videos, despite the fact that I don't have any match footage at the moment, is for us to change it so any of you could send in Sunday League clips to me and uh, next video I'll make maybe a top 10 Sunday League clips maybe top 20 depending on how many good ones we get and uh, yeah I can sort of give credit to whoever sends them in and make a Sunday League video with the clips you've sent in I'm gonna put an email on the screen now if you guys have any brilliant Sunday League clips you know anything that I would put in these videos that's uh it's just brilliant for everyone to see. Own goals, um, funny moments, brilliant goals. Send me some clips. I want to see them. And you could be in the next video. But how better to start off a Sunday League video than with a quite beautiful own goal? Yes. 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 yes! Problem with those new artificial pitches, isn't it? Bobbles everywhere. Like I said, this was at the end of last season, but uh, it's a nice one to add to the world's collection of stunningly good own goals. But for me, nothing will ever beat this one. A gripping game at Darlington too, where the home side were hoping to push their playoff claims. Strike! Chris Brass got them going. Now here we've got me on the line of defenders, and the ball was just about to be played through. A little while ago in one of these videos, I said this about offside calls. However valid a goal is. You can have it disallowed by claiming for anything, really, as long as there's enough of you with your arms up looking boiled. Now, the difference today, you can see that I'm, you know, a good a good five metres on side or something, but, but that's irrelevant. The most important thing is only one of them appeals for it. If their entire back four, however, throws their arms up and stops play, then uh, that five or ten metres between me and their last defender quickly ceases to exist. Too much pressure with the bright boots. <laughs> He's got a point there. Uh, artificial pitches always clear off the mud off your boots that you've smeared on pre-game to uh, avoid being exposed and snapped. Now there's not many things better to start one of these off than a beautiful own goal, but two own goals, I think that just about takes it. Sorry to say, we've now got the ball hitting the back of the net without an own goal involved now, but uh, get an assist from me. I lay it off to uh, one of our midfielders who lets fly from the edge of the box. Really nice finish. Bit of a Sergio Busquets. I'll hold up my hands on, uh, on that one, but they all count. Then we have a Rabona pass. And uh, a one point in midfield, that's dangerous. Ah, uh, he's number seven. That explains it. Of course he is. And you can see just how gutted he is. This Rabona hasn't made the highlights real. I think you need to calm down. There were no more own goals in the second half, unfortunately. But uh, they were on the attack. Love a cautious defender in the box, mate. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Uh, anyway, so he gets past our goalkeeper and finishes. And we'd actually missed a goal at the start of this before the own goal. So they won that one 3-2. And the cameraman got the sack before game two. On to game two. Now you can see how long ago this was because we haven't got the new goals at the pitch. So this was, yeah, right. It's still at the end of last season. Like a good, like, nine months ago. Anyway, they get an early goal very early on uh, as the might of football watches on. <laughs> Obviously we're not using it. <laughs> the ambulance has already been and gone with someone's thigh in it. Moving on, I get the ball uh, in midfield, justifying the boots today. Anyway, they grab a second fairly early on with a, uh, a nicely disguised first touch. You can't teach that, you really can't. You really can't. <laughs> Football would be incredibly boring if uh, we had an actual goalkeeper and not uh, someone just standing in from our team. Sunday League goalkeepers, they, they keep you on your toes at all times. At any moment when there's no real danger, they can uh, just sort of decide they've had enough and come outfield at any point. Now at this point, the home crowd really, the loyal home crowd, sorry, really needed something to shout about. So I play a through ball, then we get the shot away and it sort of bobbles and rolls along to my dad who sticks it away. And uh, it's still really nice to see him getting goals at the age of 94. Now we may look like we can't defend corners, but it's all part of the act, all right? It's all part of the act. We even had our number nine walking off to fetch the ball as the cross came in, so 
Don't be fooled. So it's, it's a very good act. It's such a good act. Anyway, a bit later on, we get in on the right and it's pulled back for me just in time to order a taxi straight away and uh, leave the football ground. It was a foggy day. It was a foggy day, okay? And uh, it went the right side of the corner flag, so... I don't know if you can blame the boy for that one. Now into the second half and uh, you know what? Just forget the taxi. Just get us our bus because we're going to need it at this rate. And then moving on a, a little further, an absolutely disgraceful tackle from my father leaves an opponent without any working legs. It's a man's game. But genuinely, that does really annoy me how you don't get those fouls in football when you are, it's, it's either when you cross it or have a shot. And for some reason, that's... That's just regarded as fair game. My dad then claims another defender's career with this dummy and then plays a through ball through to our striker. He's got two defenders to beat, but a bit of a mix up. It's, a, it's, it's not a calm and collected finish into an open goal, is it? But I did exactly the same. I wonder if I can find it back in my school days, actually, where you, you think you're just going to hammer this bottom corner. It goes a little bit close to, to missing from a yard out and uh, you play it off, so. Oh. Who is the best player? I like timed a sliding tackle. Like I was planning to run back and slide tackle this guy, and I just, I just got it all wrong. So it just looks like I ran up to this bloke and kicked him. Anyway, unfortunately, we crumbled in this game um, uh, at the end and conceded two quick goals to allow them to take away a 4-2 uh, victory from the fortress. We get a nice Sunday League quote here. We had a section in my book of Sunday League quotes, and um. I think we missed out this one. I'm gutted. How long ref is my personal favourite? The particularly unfit players start asking this around 10 minutes after half time, hoping that the game and their risk of impending cardiac arrest are nearly over. I think the photos are actually taken from a game in this video that you'll see in a second. Anyway, once again, if you do like Sunday League videos, I'm sure you'll like the book, so uh, the link is in the description. We're so desperate not to resort to the might of football. We've lost one of the balls in the trees, clearly, and our goalkeeper's been poking a tree with a stick for the last 10 minutes in the absence of any ball boys. I'm quite glad there aren't any ball boys in Sunday League, really. If Eden Hazard did this to one of them, like, what would happen in Sunday League? <laughs> one of the parents would probably come in with a two-fusser from the sidelines, which would be very unacceptable behaviour in, in an under-10s game. This has got to be one of the greatest clips we've ever been blessed with. The goalkeeper absolutely stacks it from the kick, and uh, one of our players tries a, tries a scorpion kick control that goes out for a throw-in. Maybe leave that one for us all next time, mate. Moving on to game three. Ah, uh, this is the game that we, I think we had the photographer at. But anyway, the pitch was bad. All right, I think it was after it had been wet and cut up. So it was, it was really bad for this game. We missed so many chances in this game because of the stupid pitch. <laughs> this looks like a poor miss at first until you realize the ball bounces up to knee height and our striker consequently shins it into the bushes. I would love to see Messi play on this pitch. Like, I would love to see how he deal with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I'd say there was no chance of that ever happening, but Ronaldo himself has feasted his eyes on uh, on this great footballing arena. So, uh, you know, don't write it off just yet. <laughs> However, I'm not sure we can be blaming this one on the pitch, triggering more head in hands than when your standing goalkeeper picks up a back pass. I'm on the ball driving at their goal. My pass takes my surprise so much that a collision wipes out one of their defenders entirely from the game. And finally, we get the first goal of the game to send the packed crowd into euphoria. You know when you see Messi or Ronaldo through on goal, like, they aim for the corners. All right, they don't give the keeper a chance. In Sunday League, however, you don't mess about with any of that cultured pansy finishing. You make sure you put your foot for it, all right? And you make sure you hit it hard. Release the Kraken! Fair play to our keeper. All right, and if that happens, he almost hit it too well, if anything. My dad and I then uh, link to produce a cross into the box, which is then headed home to give us our second of the game. Uh, and that was actually Brandon, who's scored both of them so far. He was in the Tough Mudder video a little while ago. At least he's making up for his sitters. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This isn't... This isn't very brand friendly for me. Uh, he didn't want it in fairness. Alright. Turns out maybe we are just bad at defending corners. Now, is it time for VAR at the Fortress? Alright, we've had a couple of these recently where uh, it bounces on the line. That challenge wasn't penalised. Anyway, um, obviously the linesman of is the linesman of the defending team. I don't think I've ever played in a game where the goal has been given, where it's controversial whether it's gone in or not. It could hit the back of the net and it would still be too close to call. Anyway, um, they, uh, they take a shot, get a rebound and make it 2-2 which was so frustrating because the amount of chances we'd had in this game. Anyway, but as it neared the 90 minute mark, I played one of my best three balls of the season. Uh, our striker got on it and we scraped victory from the jaws of a draw.
What makes it even better is the obscenity shouted as the ball rolled towards the empty net. Oh, oh, yes! <laughs> Into my veins you go. Anyway, uh, there was a couple of minutes for them to try and get an equaliser. It was a very close game, this one. But, uh... We had everything under control. It was never in doubt. Moving on to game four of the video, which is on a much nicer pitch than ours. So uh, we were pretty annoyed about that to start off with. So much that we went 2-0 up inside 10 minutes. I'm in slightly darker boots today, clearly still feeling the effects from that tackle last week and not wanting to, uh, with the bright boots, enrage any Brexit voting defenders. Anyway, nice little move from us. And uh, I put this right along that corridor of uncertainty. And uh, yeah, we uh, like I said, very good start, very good start for us. The football we were using was a huge throwback. I, think I used to love these footballs. Clearly they haven't invested in footballs in, in, in a good 10 years. Once again aiming for that corridor and uh, any danger of this one being put away lads. I could do with some stat padding right now. Anyway, then, uh, then a touch I'm very proud of and a couple of nice ones after that. But uh, yeah, it comes to nothing in the end unfortunately. After that, we seem to have... Uh, poked the beehive somewhat and uh there's no real easy way to say this but we conceded eight no not just in total in a row oh we didn't score again we lost eight two which is which is a score i'm all too familiar with already thanks to the uh, banter era of my football club i had a few nice touches here and there a few little runs and stuff but not really anything else to shout about if i'm honest um yeah, it was. Uh, we, we didn't do too much else in this game. It was, it was a bit of a uh, bit of a soul destroying one, really. It was a strange one, this, because their forwards kept getting through on goal. You know, that's, that's that's assured when you've conceded eight goals. And they just kept decking themselves for no explainable reason, really. Uh, this was pretty much our only source of enjoyment, being six goals down. But yeah, they uh, they spanked us in the end, so. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be a short review on that one. Oh, and we did, however, get one of the best clearances of the season from me. Go on, have that. On to the final game of the video, and we've got new goals. So this was the time when uh, the Fortress was upgraded to some to some shiny new goals. And uh, the conquest to score the first goal in them was upon us. I tend to like this through ball with uh, a bit of backspin because it holds up quite, ni quite nicely. Sorry, uh, I did quite a similar one to Marcus Butler. I'm, I don't know why I can remember that, but it was a very similar one in the charity match. But... Robbed of the assist yet again. Now the Rory Delap long throw, I've, I've said it many times, it's a very useful tool in Sunday League. You've got a very high scoring rate in Sunday League as well because there's a high chance the referee doesn't know the rule that you can't score direct from a throw in. Anyway, so it comes down, I bring it down and uh, shoot for the top corner. It bounces down and without VAR, there's absolutely no chance we're getting that decision. That one was uh, not given, and unfortunately there's a defender in the way, so you can't even see, you, we couldn't even go to the VAR on the sideline of, of my footage. He just certainly does seem to watch it bounce over his head. I think it's a close one, I'm not sure. It's a difficult one. Let me know what you think in the comments over that one, because I'd be interested. Let me, let me know both of them, actually, the two we've had. I'll be interested to know. Whether or not it was in, it would certainly have been a better goal than the actual first goal in our new goals. Our keeper has a, a bit of a calamitous moment, distributing play out at the back, then redeems himself with a ridiculous save, but unfortunately, um, pretty much how I expected the quality of the first goal in these new goals to be, to be fair. And this was the moment that, yeah, we, okay, and then this is the moment that we conceded and uh, the goalkeeper was a little off his line, right? It has been something I've been wanting to try for a while because Sunday League keepers are never on their line because they just don't expect it. Like I said, obviously Simon did it in the charity game, but I've never, um, certainly years before this, I've never kind of been confident enough in my leg muscles that I can, I can reach the goal properly. But uh, this time I was, all right, and it was there for the taking so I had a go and Beckham saw Sullivan off his line that is the face of a worried goalkeeper how, how far is that wide in the end do you reckon I think it was maybe four feet wide but it just curled away. I, I thought. I thought. I don't, honestly, I thought that was it. It's definitely something I've got to try again because uh, it's, it's certainly a challenge that there's got to be. It's got to be done at some point in the Sunday League game. And if you have ever managed to do that, do send in the clips to the email. I'll put it there again because uh, clips like that would be would be quality for the next video. This was another game where we had a lot of chances. I thought we played really well in this game. Um, I take on a couple of their defenders here with a, with a little fake shot. And the pitch just goes to town on us again. This one comes across at knee height for no explainable reason. Into the second half, we're still 1-0 down. Now, we've got an interesting one because three players 
stop. Uh, well, there's, uh, there's only two actually, I suppose. So there's only there's only two players that properly stop and put their hands up. So clearly that's not enough. Clearly it has to be the entire back four to get the decision. Just spitting facts, informative stuff here. And uh, anyway, we get through on goal. And our striker slots it away with a nice finish into the bottom corner. Didn't put his foot through it enough and hit it hard enough, but no. Uh, went in so I guess it is what it is. We get in um, really putting on the pressure here and I, uh, I I put the ball across the six yard box and do claim another assist. It's another one for the stats. Uh, Brandon has been, has been pro prolific. Oh Jesus. I'd say uh, it's a cleverly disguised pass that one I must say. Oh we had so many chances to finish it off. Nice one two here and we're in again. They actually had a standing goalkeeper as well so take some shots today went around the changing rooms. That's, uh, that's another one in here <laughs> but unfortunately it's nosebleed time. And our centre-back just passes it at him. It's painful viewing this one. Anyway, they take a shot from the edge of the box. They had chances as well, to be fair to them. But the six-yard box just does it again. The new goals weren't, weren't treated in this game with some with some uh, stunning finishes. To cap it all off in the 85th minute, this happened. And it, it went in off the... Uh, it wasn't a handball. I've watched it back. Yeah, given, given fairly in the end, it was with the aid of a nipple, I think. But uh, yeah, that was that was that, and we we missed opportunities. Um, I got one last chance that I put over the bar in the last few minutes. Keeper definitely didn't have it covered, but we lost that one three two, and that was the end of uh, of that. So, um, but I haven't played any games since then because of this Achilles injury. So please do send in some clips of um of your Sunday league games, and I'll make a video on it. It's it's a nice opportunity, I think. Please make sure to leave a like if you do want to see more of these videos because I love making them. And, uh, as long as you guys are enjoying them, then they'll be they'll be coming up on my channel. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I shall see you later. Bye bye.